Okay, uh, so next thing we're gonna do here is put the trailer hitch on. And so first thing you gotta do is remove the spare tire out of here. So you move the, the liner in the trunk up, um, grab your tools out of the, your jack and stuff out of the spare tire, put it up there. And then gonna unscrew our spare tire and get it out of there. And then I'll show you what the next step is. And then with your spare tire out, you're gonna be, we're gonna be drilling holes in this trunk pan in order to mount the hitch. So we'll get underneath the car now and show you how that hooks up. Okay, so here's the trailer hitch ready to put on. Um, it's rated at 2,000 pounds towing, 200 ton weight. And I got that from eTrailer.com or eTrailers.com, can't remember which. So if you're interested in getting one, that's where you can get it. So what we're going to do is get the car jacked up here. And then we will start installing it. All right, first thing we're doing, you got to you got to remove. There's two bolts here, the muffler. Right here. Muffler uh, mount. You undo those so that you can bolt. A little bit right here. To these right here and then, and then this part on the hitch well. and then you have to is going to mount right side. here so and then we're going to have to drill a couple of holes in the right. in the That's wheel well flant or uh pan so we'll get doing that and we'll give you some updates This is about done. We got the uh, bolt or the holes drilled in the tire well pan, and we're bolting those on. And the hitch is on. And quite honestly, it was a pain in the butt. And it so it wasn't as easy as it looked online from videos, but it's done and hopefully it'll work out good so show you the end result with the cargo basket on it here in, in a little while all right so here's what got for the cargo carrier for the trailer hitch for the beetle um, also had to get a converter uh, an adapter so it goes from one and a quarter inches which is on the beetle to uh, two inches which is what this hitch requires or this cargo rack requires 
for a hitch. And so I got both of these at uh, Harbor Freight. So this, I believe, was $20, if I remember right. And the cargo carrier, which is actually made for a four-wheeler. But it'll work great because it actually comes up. Um, I'll lift it up off the ground a little further so that we're not dragging. Uh, but this was only $60, and it's a little less wide than a regular cargo rack. A lot of them are either 48 or 60 inches, and this one, I believe, was 46. So I wanted as narrow a, a rack as I could get. And the whole purpose of this is probably just to put, like, um, you know, a gas tank and a cooler on. I'm not going to haul a lot, but it is rated at 300 pounds. So going to get it out, and we'll get it put together. So be right back, and we'll show you how that's going. Okay, here is everything out. Um, it's got fairly easy to read instructions there. It's basically just a diagram of how everything goes together. But so what we're gonna end up with was uh, these two smaller bolts through here. Um, we're gonna use larger bolts down here to put the um, the bottom brace on. Uh, there's this thing goes, this thing here goes clear up through the center between the two, between these two racks here. Um, so. I'm going to get out. It looks like really all I need is a couple of crescent wrenches or you can use a socket wrench and a crescent wrench or an open end wrench to put it together. So it looks to be fairly simple to put together. Um, what I'm going to do is put some bolts in, start getting this put together, update you along the way. Okay, the first part of this is done. Basically, we put the center pole in here, um, this two inch square tubing and attached both sides of the rack to it with bolts. There's four bolts. Um, just used a crescent wrench and a, and a uh, socket wrench. And the next thing we're going to do is put this um, support rack on the top. It'll be a bolt on this side, bolt on this side. Um, let me get that put on. I'll be right back. Okay, so the last part of this is to take these two bolts and put this section on and get those tightened. And then we got came with a pin. For the trailer hitch and everything and so i will finish tightening those up and then we will i will show you um then i will show you what it looks like on the vehicle so we'll be back and with the installation on the vehicle in a little bit here all right here's the rack on the back after the bumper um it is a little bit far away with the adapter so i'm thinking i'm gonna end up having to get a cargo basket with a rear i mean with a one and a quarter um square tubing on it because that's just with the adapter it's just sticking out way too far i mean it's usable but that's a little bit far so have to do something there in the future i can always use that on my uh on my expedition or something like that but anyway there's that and then we'll be adding some other stuff to it later thanks for watching